This video covers the mixer for the AUM Loopy setup we put together in the previous video. I've got a session already in progress. We've got Soft Drummer providing drums and Chronicler Synthesizer. And we've got a couple of tracks already loaded into Loopy. This is the Loopy return channel and the fader controls the volume of the signal we are receiving from Loopy. And lastly, we have the master channel. Its fader controls the overall volume from all the tracks that we're listening to. And this is perhaps the most important bus. This is mix bus A, which we are sending to Loopy. Whenever you want to record a track, make sure that you're sending it to mix bus A. You can see that we have Mix Bus A engaged on Chronicler's track so that we can record Chronicler to Loopy. You'll also notice that on the Soft Drummer track, Mix Bus A is disengaged. You engage and disengage Ascend by swiping like so. I don't need to record the Soft Drummer, so I leave the Send disengaged. Chronicler's send is engaged, so we can record it. Here it is soloed. So we've got Chronicler being sent to Loopy. We see that Loopy is set to record four measures. When I press record, it engages or arms the recording. And when it starts, it will record four cycles and then stop recording. I have the send to mix bus A set as post fader so that the instrument fader controls the volume sent to be recorded. You might prefer pre fader sends. Whatever your preference is, is fine. This just happens to be mine. Now that I'm done recording Chronicler's part, I can mute the channel. So one way of engaging or disengaging what is being recorded is by swiping on the send node to engage or disengage it. But you can also disengage an instrument by swiping on it. Here we have it engaged. Here it is disengaged. Thanks for watching.